the safety helmet. I mean, it's only Denmark. Do I really need a safety helmet for this? <laughs> nah, Denmark, I think we'll actually put up a fight here. Especially as I have just spent a bunch of money. All right, raise the ground over the troops. We're going to need some fighty people for this one. Also, can I... Find some more champions. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount the horses and leave the farmlands behind as the servants prepare for the wolf and the other game of the journey back. Well done. Alright, I think we should probably set sail. Command over there. Seven it cost me. Eleven ducats. Ah, it's good to be a former Viking. And we're not at a hostile faith. No. It's not the Catholics we're fighting. Oh, Sinuswith died. That was terrible timing. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping good tutelage would be enough to teach her about scholarship, but she too dumb. She's an insightful, slow thinker. <laughs> Alright. So we need to marry you off to somebody who's not a complete imbecile. Say an age difference of about... Well, she's marrying a guy, so age difference doesn't matter as much. What are you good at? Thinking, stewarding, and diplomacy. You are terrible at fighting. So really, I need to marry you to a fighter. Brave, arrogant, zealous. You are also true. That's not a bad combination. What about some of all skills? Just out of interest. For a decent all-rounder. I know. I think you're probably the best choice here, Mr. Saxon person. Send the proposal. Excellent. Right, so, um... I need to go back to me to make sure that we have got guardians for each and every one of these kids. Wait, why does I come back to me? Orange Kessler, for example, does not have one. So you are currently learning stewarding. We need to find yet another steward. Which I guess has to be Sambor. He's not exactly good at it, but it's, it's better than nothing. That was Orange Kessler. Killing Moon, also needs a Guardian. How old are you? Oh, you're two. We can still set you up now. No, we can't. Oh, you're an albino. The bloodline of this family seems to be absolutely garbage, and I don't know why. It's not like I've been in into marrying or anything. Okay, here goes the lightning quick ships that we have. going. Oh, you're being raided. Well, that isn't that unfortunate. Oh, we lost our fighty general. A siege general. That's actually really annoying. And we need a new counselor. So who's good at stewarding? Actually, Ingridur is pretty good. She is the best person. And she's a powerful vassal and it needs that position. Cool. And yes, you are 100% collecting taxes, because yikes. What is this? Angrier. Arr! You. Alright, so we basically need to try to take Denmark out quickly, otherwise we're basically fighting the war on two different fronts, with very limited resources.
And sailing back and forth is going to be a real problem. A real, real problem. Been hosting your Chancellor Countess Turin for weeks and she's helped me truly understand your splendor. Yeah, she has. Task finished. What task? Ah, you've increased the control. Marvellous. Um, continue increasing control. Well, none of those actually belong to me. So instead, let's have you... Yeah, organising the army. Let's get us more troops. That sounds like a good plan to me. Oh, we're actually making money again. Even though we're a minus 12 there for a bit. Okie dokie then. Cool. Is that the Danish army? There's the Danish army. Grandeur level is decreased, but that's fine. As long as I'm still making money, I don't really care. Oh, it's because we switched to uh, tax collecting. That's why. So Angria can't seem to make up its mind about what it actually wants to do. What's the objective here? Westphalia. Well, the capital here is about to fall. Keep just going back and forth. That seems like a you problem. Artifact seized. The fine battle axe of valor. Okay, that sounds cool. Um, let's take a look at this fine battle axe of valor. Prowess plus 2, prestige plus 0.1, raid speed plus 10. Mine's a lot better. The solid fine lustrous male is going to be depleting soon. Still not to repair it though. Would cost just one ducket to reforge it. Still gives injury resistance. And that's honestly the main thing that I want from it. Do that. Okay. Then let's go to our... Room. Court artifacts. Let's set up our fine lustrous mail right opposite. There we go. Huzzah! Blue Kiwi coming in with a 10-month resubscription. Thank you very much for that, Blue Kiwi. Hi, Mordred. Congrats on the impending Swedish invasion. Hope it all goes well with your move. Thank you very much for that, Blue Kiwi. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, prisoners captive in siege. Want to try to... Oh, the queen. Interesting. Maybe we'll keep her. You cannot make your mind up about what you want to attack. You're probably terrified of the fact that there is an army around somewhere. Who else are you? Oh, you're at war with a bunch of people. The Home Guard a claim on the Kingdom of Denmark. Small under Danish subjugation, and then my invasion. You're fighting against Home Guard? Oh, there's Novgorod and Home Guard. Novgorod is a Vidalist Lithuanian. Whereas Home Guard is actually Old Orson True Norse. Nice. So the Russian Vikings still exist. If you go a bit to the left, I'll give you some mead as you pass my house. I'll see what I can do there, Macho. Isn't there a task that reduces map is there? Knight effectiveness. Hostile scheme chance. Control. Knight effectiveness, men at arms, damage and toughness. Better commanders. Mm. 
Garrison size, levy size, reinforcement rate. I mean, actually, night effectiveness. And men at arms damage up to 28%. Sounds amazing. Or we can get the night effectiveness up to 56%. But I have a lot of um, men at arms. We're going to go with the train commanders. It's better than the uh, the levies. So I'm failing to take anything. Charger pulls through. Third time lucky. Okay, now we're losing money again. But Alborg should fall soon, TM. Come yeah, on. There it is. Alright, let's go for V-Borg. Angrier still just failed to do anything. Over here, my lady! My champion Skada waves me over with a wide grin. I have toiled many nights and days, and finally my work here is done. Alright, what'd you make me? Fine regalia. Uh, prestige plus point one, short range duration minus eight. That's good. Romance scheme power. An ornate regalia set of fine craftsmanship. It consists of a silver scepter set with carnelian. A wool cloak that's been embroidered with silk thread and a large carnelian sabachon necklace. Ooh. How am I doing for supply? Getting a little bit low. What the hell is Angry at doing? Alright, I'm going to split the men at arms off. Should have done this the other way around. Put Tordis in charge so that you can get some more supplies, although that army is going to probably need to be split as well. Because there are not enough places to get supplies here. You're good. You are not. Still don't know where the Danish army is, exactly. Well, we're starting to uh, be angrier now. Just like back and forth, back and forth. AI is definitely having a bad time. These defenses, they're just too strong for us. Wait for those raiders to leave, then move on in. Nether Norse sounds like a fantasy race. It does a bit. No, I might need to borrow the Nether Norse for um, world building game. Promescence. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's move these guys in a little bit closer. You are still losing supply. Oh, you are over the limit. Alright, split you in half as well. Still just angrier in the area. <clears throat> there we go. Now we should be regaining supply for a bit as we also reinforce. Court position just died. That is annoying. Because while you're at war, you definitely want a court position. Is there anybody else that could take the job? Not really. Ugh, I don't want to spend money looking for a court position right now, right? We're just going to have to bring in somebody temporarily. And we just need to remember that Edward is only temporarily the court position. 
Hopefully having somebody is better than having nobody. Yeah, it does look like they're fighting over there. Grandeur's gone up again. Nice, nice. Well, I must say, I am quite pleased that Angry is not doing more damage. Because <laughs> they could really screw with me if they wanted to. Horse Enthusiast wants to ride a horse. Go for it. We are making money from these sieges, which is keeping us in the fight for a little bit longer. you can go there. To then go there. Want to make sure that we have as many troops near the main battle point as we can possibly have. You're going to run out of supplies soon. Like, really soon. Huzzah! And then the trouble really begins for you. Chuleil coming in with an eight-month resubscription. Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciate it. Okay, so we can now get one of these. Collect tax effectiveness goes up significantly. We are trying to get... Well, actually, we don't need that anymore. So maybe I'm just going for the golden obligations. I mean, no. These are actually very useful to have. I kind of wish I'd stayed on strategy now. Collect tax effectiveness, let's increase you, and then we want to try to get down centralization so that our capital can improve. We do need money. We do. And we're collecting taxes. Gaining a 10% bonus right now. And every now and then we can get the, uh, the special money buff. Aslaug Folk. You're a lunatic. I actually look a bit like Aslaug from the uh, Viking series. Just started watching that again. Demand conversion. You are a really good steward. But you're also a lunatic, so no. <laughs> Ass. Really? Before they lose. Thank you. Wait, no. Wrong place! Damn it! Don't go raiding somewhere that is under attack. It is a bad idea. Just a little FYI. Still no sign of the Danes. It really does look like they are rather busier with other things. I'm just hoping that I can win this before the claim on Denmark happens. What did I literally just say? Literally just said. Don't attack a place. Well, actually, it's not under attack. So fine. We have a new Rixkodai. Are you any good? You're a 19. 19 is good. You can keep your job. I am, however, going to sway you. Because right now, you're not paying me the money that's my due. And I am due a lot of money. 16 months worth of financing right now. Minus whatever I earn from sieges. Who's this? Army of Kalmar. Chieftain of Smallland. We took a fine spear from Vorbas. 
Raid, speed and prowess. A little bonus. I think that's it. Of course you're raiding the place that I'm going to. Can everyone stop raiding in the middle of a war? Thank you. Alright, we're up to 37% against the Danes. Hopefully we're not going to need to do anything against you lot. More raiding! Come on! I mean, I guess the raids are weakening the garrison, so it's not all bad. Denmark's got 800 men. It's not looking good for them. I am not paying money right now. You always ask me at the wrong time. I've just gone through a period of like five years where I actually have money. And then, of course, you ask me for more money when I have none. I just spilled a bunch of tea. Force of habit. Putting headphones on. I was like, hang on, there's something in my ear already. This doesn't feel right. Alright. Crisis dealt with. Except I did actually want to drink some of that. So hold on. Stop. Isn't parochialism kind of useless since you don't have cities? I don't have cities yet. So the way it works is as long as the capital of the county is a castle, the other holdings that you build can be anything, and they, in fact, they have to be um, a temple and a city before you can build another castle. So most of these are just um, three barony counties, so it's going to be one of each. So eventually, when we actually start building cities, in fact, Rosalea is already a city, um, then they'll start to produce more for us. Alright, Slesvik, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and not exist anymore. Ah! Funny food. Ah. The young mediator. There was a commotion amongst the children today, and Machio was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Cheetah William intervened and managed to stop the fight before anybody got hurt. Uh, we could make you brave. How's was my stress? Cool. Brave is good. Brave is one of the virtues of this tree. Let's pull you back so the catapults can continue doing the thing. Machio has come of age. With sufficient teachage, even a child has displayed little natural inclination towards diplomatic influence such as Macho, you can come to truly understand it. True silver tongue. He could sway the opinion of counts and kings alike. When he speaks, the court lis listens in enraptured silence. 
So he's strong and he's a grey eminence. Damn, macho. Impatient, shy, and arbitrary. Yeah, arbitrary is a bit unfortunate. Alright, let's get you married. So I think you're going to be the... Uh, diplomat. And actually, Theodosia is a pretty good diplomat. Let's see if we can get you married. Not too much. Done. 